Modern apps are incredibly complex. They need to process payments, send notifications, and show maps. And that's just the beginning. Building all these features from scratch would take years. That's where APIs and SDKs come in. They are the essential tools that make our favorite apps work together seamlessly. Let's start with APIs, or Application Programming Interfaces. Think of them as universal translators that let different software applications talk to each other. Instead of building everything from scratch, developers can tap into specialized services that are already battle-tested and reliable. Most modern APIs use what's called REST architecture. It's a way of communicating through HTTP requests to specific URLs called endpoints. The core operations are beautifully simple. Get fetches data from a service, post creates new resources, put update existing ones, and delete while that removes them. When we make these requests, we can include specific parameters to get exactly what we need. For operations like post, we'll package data in the request body, usually in JSON format. Every API response comes with a status code that tells us what happened. The 200 means everything went well, like getting a thumbs up. A 200 means, okay, we did it. While 201 says, great, we created something new. The 400s are different. They are telling us something went wrong on our end. Maybe we made a bad request or tried to access something without permission. And those 500 level codes, that's the server raising its hands to say, hey, this is on us. We've got a problem over here. Security is very important in the API world. Services use API keys or OAuth tokens to verify who's making requests. Think of it like a digital ID card. They also keep an eye on how many requests are being made, go over the limit, and we might get cut off or see some extra charges on a bill. Let's see this in action with a food delivery app. When we open it, multiple APIs work together behind the scenes. First, a map API kicks in, show us all the restaurants nearby. Once we find a place that looks good, the app's own API fetches the restaurant's menu. Ready to order? That's when a payment API steps in to handle our transaction. After everything's confirmed, a messaging API makes sure our delivery driver knows where to go. Now let's shift gears to SDKs, Software Development Kits. While APIs are the raw connection points between services, SDKs are like pre-built toolboxes that make those connections easier to use. They handle the complex technical details so we can focus on building features. An SDK is a complete package. It comes with tools, libraries, and documentation. Everything we need to build apps for specific platforms like Android or iOS. A well-designed SDK takes all those platform complexities and simplifies them, making sure our apps behave consistently across different devices. Many SDKs come with pre-built API clients that make integration easy. These clients handle all the technical heavy lifting. They manage authentication. They format requests properly. They turn complicated responses into data that's easy to use in our code. Here's a real example, Instagram's SDK. Instead of writing hundreds of lines of code to connect with Instagram's API, the SDK lets us add a share to Instagram feature with minimal effort. It's like they're saying, don't worry about the technical details. Here's a simple way to do it. So when should we choose between an API and SDK? Let's break it down. Direct API integration makes sense when we need complete control over our project. It's a good choice when we want to keep our dependencies minimal. And sometimes, we might be working with a platform that doesn't have an SDK. That's when APIs become our best friend. SDKs take a different approach. They are fantastic when we need to move fast and get our product to market quickly. They come packed with best practices built right in, saving us from common pitfalls. And if we need special features for specific platforms, SDKs are often the way to go. Remember, it's not always an either-or choice. Many successful apps use both. SDKs for their main use cases, and direct API access for custom features. Together, these tools form the building blocks of modern software development, letting us create powerful apps without reinventing the wheel. If you like our videos, you might like our system design newsletter as well. It covers topics and trends in large-scale system design, trusted by 1 million readers. Subscribe at blog.bybyco.com.